Okay, so we'll analyze this game between Parth versus Apurva. Let's see the game. Path starts with e4, Apuru plays e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, Italian opening, knight c3, knight f6, d3, castle, here better you first play h6 to stop bishop g5, okay, otherwise you have to go back with the bishop or you have to play h6 afterwards anyway, better you first play it and then you can do castle afterwards. Castle, castle, yeah, bishop g5, you could play bishop g5 here itself. Castle, uh, d6, bishop g5, pinning the knight, very good. h6 is the correct move, good. Bishop h4 is fine. a6 is little passive, you don't have to play on that side. See, now the threat is knight d5 is coming at any time, okay. Other than that, you can... Pin like, you know, the opponent has pinned. So, bishop g4 is better here. Or if you don't want to do that, at least bishop e6. So, don't allow the knight d5 or any other move to, you know, give you problems. So, a6, h3 is good. Not allowing uh, bishop g4. And b5 is okay. Knight d4 was better here. You can exchange that knight. Okay, Black wants to uh, make draw or equal, get equality. For that, you could exchange some pieces. That's good. Okay, b5, the bishop has to move. Bishop d5 was better, actually. You can pin the knight and there is a threat, good threat. So, here bishop b3, then b4 is unnecessary. You are forcing the opponent to do something which you don't want him to do. Okay. Yeah, see, you force him to come on d5, which is a very good square for the knight. So that's a mistake. b4 was a mistake. Unnecessary move. Forcing the opponent to do this, which is very good for him. Uh, okay, you uh, really ignored what is happening here. The move is now g5. You cannot allow both the pieces to attack on it. You have to play g5 here. Though after g5, this knight cross g5 is coming, which is a little uh, dangerous or you can say slightly better for white or even more than uh, slightly. But uh, black played this, which is a big mistake. Now here, the problem starts. And uh, white played the correct move, knight cross f6. Yes, you have to open it. Once you get the chance, you just do this. G cross f6 is forced. You cannot say no to that. Otherwise, you are just piece down. Uh, knight, this knight d2 is okay. Knight h2 is better because you want to use that knight as well. Okay, like if you would have played knight h2, no? the knight can come afterwards to attack with the other pieces. Here it's not doing anything. Okay, you can't do anything on this side. There is nothing happening over here. What is the use of this? No use. Okay, let's see what happened. Okay, after knight d2, black played rook e8. And uh, this is a mistake. What else can you do here? King g7, idm. You have to give support to that uh, f6 or uh, h6 plus you have to make space for that rook on g8 or h8 so that you can go afterwards on f8 with the king. Other than that, you are just uh, moving the king away from that pin. So the pawn is not pin. Okay, now here rook e8, black played and queen g4 check is okay. Queen h5 was better, but this is fine. King f8, yes, that's the move. If you go on the other side, it's worst. And uh, queen h5, now you have to play this. See, on the first move itself, you could do, but anyway, uh, the move here could save you is rook e6 or rook e7. You played queen there, it's not good. You have to move the rook so that the king has some space to move. Okay, that's a mistake. Now here, yeah, queen cross h6 is the correct one, very good. King e7 is a mistake. You could uh, go to g8 is better than this. This is also made actually. King g8 will be checkmate in three moves instead of one. Uh, okay, here mate in one, yes. Bishop cross f6 is a checkmate. Good. Very good game. Okay, if the opponent, if black would have played on this side, then it's simple bishop cross f6. And now you can't stop this checkmate at any cost. You can just delay it for one move.
but after that you can't do you can't do okay anything and that's it good game that's